Good evening, I'm Jack Royer. And I'm Allison Henning. Thanks so much for joining us. Two Polk County men are believed to have died after drowning yesterday. Law enforcement agencies are still searching Lake Eloise in Winter Haven for their bodies at this hour. News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki was on the scene as that recovery mission began last night, and he starts us off this evening with the latest. Trevor? Jack Allison, they still have not found those two drowning victims yet. The Seminole County Sheriff even brought over their underwater drone. And that, along with boats, a helicopter, even sonar, has not been able to find those two men. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said this is a tragedy of inexperience. The search and recovery for two men who police believe drowned in Lake Eloise continues today, more than 24 hours after the initial call came in. Our policy at the sheriff's office is when someone goes into the lake such as this, we never leave until we find them. According to Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd, Winter Haven residents Velky Velasquez and Orlando Ortiz rented this 16-foot Tahoe ski boat for the day, celebrating their one-year anniversary as a couple. They're out having an afternoon of pleasure on the water. They brought along their friend Jeffrey Marrero and his two young daughters. According to the sheriff, when the group found a spot to drop the anchor, Velasquez grabbed it and jumped in without tying the anchor to the boat. It is a rough day on the water. The wind's blowing about 20 miles an hour. There's a two-foot chop with white caps. The boat started floating away, and Velasquez struggled to swim after it, so the two men jumped in to save her. The two gentlemen are told to us to be average swimmers. Then the boat floated away from everyone. Velasquez flipped over and floated, but the two men tried to swim after it. That's when the sheriff believed they ended up drowning. One of the two young girls on the boat floating away called 911. Deputies arrived, commandeered a fisherman's boat, and saved Velasquez and got the girls to safety. But it was too late for the men. We're there. We're involved. We're searching for these two missing gentlemen as if they were our brothers or our children. And according to Sheriff Judd, the adults all had to take a boating class before they rented that boat. He said they all successfully passed that class and were able to, like I said, rent that boat. The two daughters are okay, but the families, of course, of these victims are shocked at this tragedy. Live in Winter Haven, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.